Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode with Explore by Adventure. Currently at the moment, we are at the top of Mount Tempest, having a bit of a look, did the 1K walk up. Uh, in this episode, we're going to do a couple of things, we're going to head south now. In the last episode, if you haven't seen it, check it out. We did everything north, um, seen the lighthouses and all that sort of stuff. So now we're going to actually go south, we're going to make our way and look at the down to the gutter bar, go down and do some sand hills, to try and do some stuff around the wrecks as well. So. Stay tuned and see what we get up to. Righto, here we go, day five of Morton Island. First day the sun is actually out. Are you excited? Yeah, I guess. Hello. Hopefully. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully we can go do some stuff today. Yeah, first few days are a bit wet. Pretty keen to go to see. Check out Mount Tempest. Yeah, I've spoken to some people and they reckon it's really nice there. And stuff, so I reckon it's worth the hike. Yeah, so we've got the hiking shoes on today, make our way up to Mount Tempest. After that, I reckon we might head out to the um, the desert, the desert, where it's all the sand dunes and stuff, and try ourselves a bit of sandboarding. Yeah, mate, probably not me, eh? but I'm sure everyone else will have fun doing it. <laughs> also, I hear you're cooking something pretty good this afternoon for us. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it the old lasagna a go in the camp oven and see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out the way I want it to turn out. Down here in the camp, I'm pretty keen for that. Alrighty, just driven the track to the Mount Tempest walking track. Sun is out. I'm exhausted. Me Billy too, Beth man. is exhausted. I'm a, bit a little bit puffed. I'm um, making our way. 1k up to the top of Mount Tempest walking track. The view out there looks unreal. Sick. Oh. Weather turned okay. one on today. It is, isn't it? How good. Alrighty, we're just over halfway I reckon and it is hot, sweaty, our calves are sore and just heading up there still. Lilybeth is nowhere to be seen, she's probably fallen over with, in exhaustion. Fred is just buggered. I'm not about as you, I'm fine, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Look at all that sweat. <laughs> along Fucking Morton done that crazy. Have a go at this bad boy. Just on a fucking main track. Just a main track that I could get through yesterday. Have a go.
So we've just walked through the bush for Frank to then tell us we have to walk back because he doesn't do research very well. No, he so, doesn't. So come on, let's all walk back because it's on, what were we looking at? Grouse battery. I don't Rouse. know, some World War II things. Yep, so they're all on the beach side apparently. So we're just going to walk back. We have to wait for Fred. He's a bit slow, he's all the way over there. Alrighty, so we have made it to the big desert, as you can see behind me. The hills are over there where you can go sandboarding. So what we're going to do is go sandboarding down them hills. We've got the sandboard, thanks to Matt Rake. Oh, sorry. And make our way. So we are just cooking up dinner. We've got Fred cooking dinner. He's cooking us a lasagna. How's it all going? Yeah, I guess not too bad. Not too bad. It's a bit weird in the round um, pot. You know, camp oven. So lasagna in camp oven. Yeah, boys. Let us know in the comments if you've done it before. Give it a crack, I reckon. Because it looks lit. It looks really good. Alrighty, so we're just walking up the Rouse battery track. Me with Kylie in tow and Chelsea behind. I'm gonna try and see if we can find these. Oh. <laughs> Kylie nearly tripped. But we're gonna try and find these um, bunkers as they are. See what they look like. Hopefully not too far, because I don't want to do as much walking as I did yesterday. That was way too much. <laughs> First one of the walk. Oh, you can actually walk into this. Really? Let's go in. What's that? Oh, you can walk in here too. guys so first one down had a quick look walked inside as you can see after a little bit of research we found out that so these things here were from World War II uh, they were the outpost and the defensive system for anti-aircrafts along the Brisbane coast it also housed all the officers and stuff like that 
along the way there's obviously parts there where you can see there were, must have been cannons and cannons on top as well so they're all along here we'll see if we can find a couple more before we make our way back This must have been the rooms. This would have been rooms. Accommodations. Can we go on to this one? That's pretty. Oh my god, that's so cool. So this would have been an outpost. Alrighty, come across this pretty long water crossing, pretty deep. Fred doesn't have a snorkel, so we're going to try and work our way around it. I don't really want to plow through the middle of it either because I don't want to get stuck, especially towards the end of the trip. So we just want to get to this pub, so we're just going to make our way slowly across, I guess. Here we go. Alrighty, here we are. We just went to the gutter bar. We've made our way back, bought some oysters at the oyster farm. The girls and Fred decided they wanted to stay back on the beach and have a bit of an afternoon on the beach. I was like, you know what? Water's perfect, flat, sun's out. I'm gonna try and catch myself a fish. We've been trying a few times, haven't really got anything, had that one hookup. So let's see if I can actually try and get something now. Righto, just got a couple of lines in using pillies. Ooh, looks like something's just swimming by. Down there. Hopefully it takes me bait, otherwise. I'm gonna have to use some uh, lures too. All right, back at Hank camp. Didn't catch any fish, everyone's a bit lit. What we're gonna do is we're going to get the campfire gum and we're gonna do some dessert. Alrighty guys, second last day, Morton Island. We've decided to stop at the Cohen Cohen Bypass to have a bit of a look at these relics that are still on the um, still on the beach here is the reason why you can't drive down here. We're just walk it up to them, have a bit of a look. We're going to make our way up to the shops, get some supplies and make our way to the wrecks. Today we're going to be snorkeling the wrecks, doing a bit of fishing. Just a bit of a relaxing last day instead of just a go, go, go day. So see how we go. guys so we've just had a bit of a look at these um, historic relics along the side here at Hull and Collin and after a little bit of research they're gun mounts that protected the west side of the Morton Bay towards Brisbane for any um, enemies and stuff like that in World War II. Oh, cool. Not bad. So there's one there right directly behind us and one a bit further up. You can kind of tell with the big oval shape that it's like, must have housed a big, some big, big sort of cannon. 
pretty cool. Bit of a walk, but yeah, not bad. Good history lesson. Alrighty guys, so we are making our way back to camp, pick up the tinny, get the snorkeling gear, Fred's going to grab his um... Before we tell them what we're doing, can we just tell them about the amazing burger we've just done? Yes, actually. Because yeah. it was the best burger so we went to I've ever had in my life. We went to Castaways for lunch and just get a couple of supplies and the burger that I had, I had the Temp Mount Tempest burger and that was lit. The beef patty on that was unreal. Kylie had a Castaways burger and how was that? It was like legit 15 out of 10, best burger I've ever had hands down. 100%. Like I would come to Morton just to get that chicken burger. It was cool. It was so yeah, good. really good. So as I said, we're making our way back down to camp, getting the tinny, getting Fred's kayak and then we're going to actually spend the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> guys that is the end of our trips at Morton Island what are your thoughts yeah, it's good first, nice. yeah, first days were shitty. yeah first few days were pretty crap bit of rain then it just cleared right up not a drop of rain had an awesome time first time being here I reckon the wrecks was the wrecks are going to that Mount Tempest were probably my two highlights all yours yeah probably the Mount Tempest a little walking though and really just driving around yeah. Island and stuff. yeah, it was good. It was really good. We'll definitely be coming back. Um, so thanks for coming along with the ride. Enjoy. Hope to see you next time.